In 2016, Congressman Rodney Frelinghuysen had the opportunity to protect our environment in 38 different votes on the House floor. 35 of those times, he voted against the environment. In fact, the Conservative League of Voters, an agency which monitors legislation for the environment, gives Rodney a score of being 8% pro-environment. That's basically enough. This is a stark contrast to the man that many voters consider to be a moderate Republican with a pro-environmental stance. According to Freeman Housing's website, since coming to Congress, I have made it a priority to work to preserve open space and protect the environment across our nation and in New Jersey. And yet 35 out of 38 times, he decided not to preserve open space or to protect the environment. In the past, he's made public statements against big environmentally damaging pro projects like the Pilgrim Pipeline. In 2004, he sponsored the Highlands Conservation Act. And by all appearances, it would seem he would be up to the task of advocating for the health and for the safety of our people and for our environment. However, his voting record has not shown the consistency for pro-environmental policies. Just reviewing the last 10 years, Freeland has its pro-environmental position has plummeted year after year and vote after vote. The congressman claims to be a leader in protecting people by ensuring policies that will make our state a healthier place to live. Here in New Jersey, the food and agriculture business, for example, is the third largest industry in the state. We have over 9,000 working farms that cover, cover over 715,000 acres. These farms and their workers produce over a billion dollars in sales every year. It is these New Jersey workers, the residents, and their families that are most times disproportionately affected by harmful pesticides. Yet Freelinghausen voted for HR 5538 which among other many damaging environmental mandates cripples the EPA's ability to protect farmers, their families, and their workers from these damaging pesticides. Here in New Jersey, the Highlands are recognized as the most critically important watershed in New Jersey. They are uh, the highest elevation on the eastern seaboard, and they're the source of drinking water for many of the state's northern industrialized cities. With the growth of population and development, the quality and the quantity of this water is now threatened. Freeland Heisen's website states his agenda is to preserve and protect open space and critical drinking water supplies in the Highland regions. A statement which conveys a message that protecting water is a priority. Yet, he voted to not adopt permanent fund appropriations for the Federal and State Land and Water Conservation Fund. He voted not to strike four anti-clean water provisions from H.R. 5538. He voted to void the Clean Water Rule, legislation that protects small streams and wetlands that feed into drinking water for more than 117 million people in the country. And now in 2017, his voting record continues to deteriorate even further. Recent Freelandizing votes for policies that look to dismantle and decrease the power of the EPA. An EPA which the current administration is looking to dismantle with the newest budget proposals. According to the Executive Director of Food and Water Watch, Trump's budget proposal reflects a 31% cut to the EPA. This will include a 45% reduction to the state's grants for environmental protection and a 30% cut to the Superfunds program. Rodney wants to work with the EPA to clean up the Superfund sites in the Passaic, uh, Passaic River, but he approves cuts to practically eliminate the EPA and jeopardize long-standing environmental safety policies. Furthermore, these proposed devastating cuts would directly impact New Jersey by crippling our ability to remediate the multiple Superfund sites that we have in our state. Our industri industrial legacy has left us with over 118 Superfund sites, the most in the country, of which 
16 of these sites are currently located here in Freeman Heisen's district. These sites would be stripped of federal funding. We are a state that is constantly striving to meet the balance between growth, industry, and environment. Senator Menendez said the other day, we are at a crossroads. We, are we a country that will decide to put people first? Or are we a country that's willing to become a global citizen and create and support policies that support wellness and, and the planet that we live on? Congressman Freeland has an opportunity to lead the way here, to do the right thing, even in the face of conflicting party politics. We must keep the pressure on and hold him accountable to his statement to lead the effort to protect New Jersey's environment and make our state a cleaner and healthier place to live. Because if his record is any example of how we have uh, any example of an environmental leader, then I think it's time for a change. <laughs>